Welcome to 3D Printing Industry News, brought to you by 3D Systems. Hello everyone, we are here at the uh, Santa Clara Inside 3D Printing Show and we have uh, Harris Kenny from Adolf Objects, so welcome in the show. How's it going? Thanks. Yeah, excellent. So tell us a little bit about your company and uh, before we go into your very interesting 3D printer, so what does your company do and, uh, and, and uh, what is the background for that? Sure. Uh, so we were founded in January 2011, uh, so we've actually been around for a few years now and we're a totally open source hardware company. So we came out of the RepRap project and uh, still true to that today. Uh, our flagship printer is the Lulzbot Taz uh, and then we're also here unveiling the Lulzbot Mini uh, here at the show. Okay, very good. So this is the latest one, this has just been released, so, um, so what's, what's new in the machine and uh, can you tell us about the machine? Yeah, so right here you can see, uh, if you're familiar with the Lulzbot Taz, this is a little bit smaller footprint. It's about six inches cubed, build volume, it's a fused filament, fabrication printer, and uh, the story here is that it's more accessible than ever before. So it's got loads of ease of use features uh, without sacrificing on versatility. So you can print in lots of different materials and it's open source like always, so you can do a lot on it or you can just do simple projects if you're newer to 3D printing. Okay, can you tell us a little bit about the materials that you can use? Yeah, we've got some samples here, so standard plastics like ABS and PLA and hips. Um, but yeah, you just picked up a, a print of tea glass, so that's one of the Tallman filaments. Prints really well with that. Uh, also nylon, uh, some of the wood, copper, and bronze filaments from ColorFab. Uh, so a lot of different options for materials. Okay. Yeah, this feels very sturdy actually. It's a very thin but very uh, strong material actually here, so yep. excellent result. Okay, uh, so how does this differ from the previous models? What's the um, kind of um, underlying new, new technology that you just uh, revealed here? The major new technology that we're showing off today is the automatic nozzle cleaning and bed leveling. So people that buy this printer won't even know what bed leveling is, which is exactly what we want. Uh, yeah. Whereas if you talk to people that have been in the industry for a few years, that used to be one of the hardest parts about using a printer at all. Okay, very good. And uh, what about the price? So um, any changes to the price to previous models? Uh, it's going to be $1,350, uh, 1350 US dollars, and uh, it'll be available globally, so we ship around the world. And uh, so it's definitely a lower price, more entry-level machine, uh, whereas the Lulzbot Taz is $2,200. Okay, very good. And where, where can you get the machine if you want one now? So uh, where do you need to go? And so it's coming out in December. Uh, you can buy one from lulzbot.com, buy from us direct. But we also have 20 reseller channel partners around the world. So, you know, Amazon and the US, UK and lots of different websites. So start with us and then uh, buy from your preferred vendor. Okay, sounds very good. Thank you very much for coming to the show. Sure, Thank thanks you. for your time. Thank you. Thanks for watching 3D Printing Industry News TV. Brought to you by 3D Systems.